Hey guys, what's up? It is your girl, Lock Looney Tune. I haven't seen you guys in so very long, or you guys haven't seen me in so very long. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, a Happy Kwanzaa, and I hope you had a great New Year's celebration. Thank God it is now 2017. I'm so happy to say that. Whatever it is you guys celebrate, I hope you guys had a happy one. Um, just to give you guys a quick rundown of what has been going on with me, your girl has been sick. I haven't been on the YT in a while because your girl was suffering with some asthmatic situations. Those of you guys that follow me on Instagram know what was going on with me up in the hospital. So if you don't, please follow your girl on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and follow my Facebook page. All of the links will be down below in the description box. Anyway, if you did not know, your girl had some things happen at the end of last year. So let's just give you the rundown. On November 29th, me and my husband, me and my husband celebrated our 10-year anniversary. That was cool. Then on December 7th, your girl turned 43 years old. Yes. Thank you, I am 43 now. After that, let's see. On Christmas Day, my husband turned 48 years old. We had a great Christmas, we had a great Thanksgiving. Everything was cool. Um, my son, you guys haven't seen it, but I'm going to definitely upload a video and give you guys the update on what's going on with my son. He is now graduated from the military academy, but I'm gonna put that in a brand new video by itself so you guys can see all the accomplishments that my son has uh, made for himself and I'm so very proud of him. But guess what? That's not what y'all here for. Y'all here for this Bath and Body Works haul because yeah, your girl, the day after Christmas, your girl was at Bath and Body Works. You know, I didn't stress myself out. I just walked up in there and I was really cool about it. You know, I knew the sale was coming and everything was fine. <laughs> Yeah, y'all know how I do, right? So, I really did save a lot this time. I actually bought a lot of things. I actually didn't just go one time. I actually ended up going three damn times. Your girl is totally addicted to the store because y'all know it's my favorite store in the whole wide world. Y'all guys, you guys know that. I don't do hauls pretty much on anything else except Bath and Body Works. That is my main thing. That's what I love to do. I love the semi-annual sales. So let's get it in. The first thing I want to share with you guys is that I thought that they was going to discontinue this scent. I thought they was going to discontinue Cashmere Glow. I was so surprised when I walked up in the store and it was there in the bins with the 50% and the 75% and I was like what? the hell man I thought y'all guys was not gonna be selling this no more so you know your girl had to rack up on her cashmere glow so I ended up getting the lotion which you guys can see I'm gonna try to focus in I'm gonna focus in on these things I'm gonna be out of focus but you guys can be able to see this the cashmere glow in the lotion the 24 hour the 24 hour shea moisture cream in cashmere glow the cashmere glow fine fragrance mist you know i had to get that too and the cashmere glow shower gel had to get all of them had to get all of them because i love the way it smells i think it's my very favorite scent so far in the store now i know a lot of you guys may not know what cashmere glow smell like so i'm just gonna read the back so i can share with you guys what it may smell like since i don't have you know smell a vision and you guys can't smell it so it says this luxurious scent is a warm blend of golden peach exotic berries and glowing lily lily petals indulged with shimmering vanilla and cashmere musk so that's what these smell like next i got an old classic which is cucumber melon and i got this in the shower gel key notes on this is crisp cucumber watery honeydew summer cantaloupe sparkling grapefruit sheer woods those are the key notes on the back of this on cucumber melt the next shower gel that i got was cotton and lemonade and the key notes for this is crisp cotton sparkling lemonade wild gardenia mandarin blossom and clean musk this is another one of my favorite fragrances i really do like this it smells so good um, it's called Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea. And the keynotes on this are Georgia Peach, 
sweet tea, white nectarine, apple blossom, and jasmine petals. And this is in a shower chair. Because mainly when I go to Bath and Body Works, you guys know, I kind of stock up mainly on the shower gels because I go through shower gels a lot quicker than I do uh, the fragrance mist and the lotions. I don't buy as many lotions. I mostly buy the triple body creams because they tend to last longer. But mainly the shower gels. I go through those so much that I always have to replenish by the time the semi-annual sales come through. Another one I purchased, which is a shower gel. This is called Get Happy and White Peach Sangria. And the key notes on this is white peach nectar, fresh tangerine, sparkling prosecco, sweet hibiscus and golden sugar mad about you had this before i really like the way it smells when i see this in the store it reminds me of a tv show i don't know if you guys remember the tv show mad about you it was really a very um entertaining show very funny show about this um couple and it, and they had, I think they had a dog, I wasn't sure about it, but I don't remember the stars' names. But I used to love watching that and listening to the opening theme song. And Mad About You was the name of the show, and I, I really do. And I think it looked the text and the font was the same on the show, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, the keynotes on this, it says, The Passionate Scent is a thrilling blend of black currant, bright peony, and pink jasmine kiss with white patchouli and vanilla musk. Another shower gel that I got, this is new I've never seen this before um also the get happy was a new one for me as well but this one is also new it's called cocktail dress new for me anyway I haven't seen these before and um, I always try to get something brand new that I've never had before when I go into Bath and Body Works. So this is called Cocktail Dress. It says Crystal Peonies, Bright Mandarin, Sheer Cedar, and Velvet Musk. Another one, it's Wrapped in Sugar, called Wrapped in Sugar. This is also something new that I've never seen before. This is, it says it's Coconut Martini, Marshmallow Musk, Soft Amber, and Warm Woods. And I always smell these when I'm in the store, you know, just to make sure, and it smells really good, it, I, just to make sure, you know, it's something that I really don't mind putting on my body, I really love when I can go into the store and they have samples and, you know, try me sprays and things, even though it smells like a, a perfume shot all throughout, but still. It smells good. I love wrapped in sugar. And I just thought it was a really good scent. This is a triple body cream that I purchased. It's something new. I got a few. Most of this, I, some of the stuff that I got is really new to me. I haven't seen it before. Some of this is also from the Christmas collection that just passed. Because the sale started the day after Christmas. And I was just like right there. You know what I'm saying? So... I did get a lot of this Christmas stuff, these Christmas scents, because I was not going to go during Christmas to go get these because they wouldn't have been 50% off or 75% off. And most of these things that I purchased was 75% off. Um, but I'm going to share that with you at the very end as far as how much I saved on all of these things. So this is called Fresh Sparkling Snow. The keynotes on this is Iced Pear frozen melon, winter apple, snowdrop blossom, and frosted musk. This is also Georgia peach as well, but this is the fragrance mist. I like this so much, I really had to get a fragrance mist for this. Um, I've never had it before. I haven't had the fragrance mist before, but I had had the shower gel before, so I decided to get the fragrance mist too. So yeah, this is the packaging on Georgia peach. I always love Bath and Body Works packaging. It's, it never fails. It's always beautiful. Pink chiffon. I've had this before, maybe in I think a miniature size, the trial size. So I decided to get a larger size, the you know the full size. Uh, what is this? The eight fluid ounces of the pink chiffon. And the smell of this is, and the and the smell of pink chiffon is exactly that. It smells like pink chiffon. It smells like flowers. To me, it smells like just flowers and like pink champagne. Sweet Cranberry Rose. I think this is also from the Winter Collection, if I'm not mistaken. Sweet Cranberry Rose is definitely new for me, but I really do like this smell. It is pretty much the perfect mesh of cranberries and roses. It has more of a rose smell, you know, and it's, it, I really do love the smell of fresh flowers and roses 
are my favorite flower. This is a lotion, and I only got a couple of lotions, but Winter Candy Apple, this is something that I really wanted to get. I thought it was really a good smell as far as for a lotion. Have on your skin or rub on your hands while I'm at work, you know. And I work a, I work a lot with, you know, with a lot of people and stuff. And I have a lot of customers that tend to come to me. So, you know, it's good to have something smelling fresh like this on your hands when you're interacting with other people and stuff. Winter Candy Apple is a really good scent. I like it. It's definitely from the Winter Collection. I love every season but mainly when I go to the semi-annual sales they're usually they have the winter stuff in the you know in the December um, semi-annual sale and then in July they usually have a lot of the summer things so I usually end up getting a lot of the summer scents and a lot of the winter scents I purchased one wallflower this time I usually get a lot more of these but this time because I already have um, I already have the plugins that these go in in the wall this is old this is like from maybe I think a couple of years ago and I still have it it's my raccoon plug-in that I, you guys have seen in a previous haul of mine but um, um, this is called maple cinnamon pancakes and that's exactly what it smells like guys it smells like maple cinnamon pancakes and your girl don't need no damn pancakes but this this smell it is awesome it smells so good I mean anytime it's bad you know what I'm saying it's really bad and it's addictive because you really want to smell something that smells like food get yourself something like this put it in your house you don't necessarily have to eat anything it's not fattening okay this is a bath fizzy I was so loving some of the new stuff that I saw in there I was just like I gotta have it I gotta have it so I saw this this vanilla bean Noel bath fizzy and it looks like a giant peppermint I just thought the packaging on this was so cute and it's a big you know bath fizzy and I guess it's you know one time use or whatever the case may be and you know you pop it in the in the tub and it smells and it smells the vanilla bean Noel smells just like cake batter yellow cake batter that is the perfect description for what this smells like I also purchased some rum sprays guys I purchased some rum sprays this one is maple cinnamon pancakes yeah, this is the rum spray. I didn't even know. I told my husband that I didn't get this in a rum spray. But I did get it in a rum spray. I told him I just got it in the plug-in. But no, I did get it in the rum spray as well. I was lucky to find this because the regular price of this, I think, is yeah, it's $7.50. And I think this was 75% off. So it was like a couple dollars or something. This smells so good. It smells just as good as the plug-in. It smells amazing. Another one that I got and I think this is also from, I think this is also from the Winter Collection because I didn't even see this um, a while ago. Uh, it's called Cinnamon and Clove Bud. That's what this, if you guys can see, I think I can. It's called Cinnamon and Clove Bud. Right? And I mean, it's it smells like cinnamon and cloves. I mean, what more can I say? I can't really say too much, you know, to you guys about it. It smells like, I wish, I wish I had smell of vision I wish they really need to figure out some way to make it so that we can record how these things smell and everybody on the other end can smell them because I guarantee you, if you could smell this stuff, you guys would run out right now and go buy this stuff. I guarantee you would. This is another room spray. This is called Fresh Balsam, which I know definitely is from the Winter Collection because it smells like Christmas trees. And you can look at the packaging and see the pine cones and the um, little pine cones and holly all over this packaging right here. It's called Fresh Balsam and it does. It smells just like um, Christmas tree. Now my Christmas tree is still up from Christmas. I'm getting ready to take that down but if I want my house to still have that Christmassy smell this is it because I really do love the smell of fresh pine trees. I also got a candle guys. I normally don't go and get as many candles as I used to because I'm they don't last as long as I would like them to. The salted caramel, the salted caramel smells so good even when it's not lit. Like, 
I just want to go like this. Mmm. If you guys can smell that, it smells so good. And then, you know, when I light it, it has my whole entire room just smelling like, oh my God. So, this, it, it just smells so good. I, I had to get this. This is not even a big one. This is a little one. Don't ask me why I bought this. It was a dollar, but I think it was like a quarter or whatever, because it was like 75% off or something like that. This? It's a little Santa hat. I thought it was really cute to put over top of my little things or whatever. My little Bath and Body Works stuff. Either like my rum sprays like that or, you know, over top of your little, you know, anything. Put it on your dresser. It's cute, you know. I'm addicted to cute shit, you know. Now this, this, I thought it was really adorable as well. This is called a sponge topper. You guys see this? It's called a sponge topper. So what you do is you put this over top of this is your shower gel. Let's just let's just use cocktail dress as an example. So you put your shower gel, you put this over your shower gel like that. You fit it over your shower gel. And then when you're in the shower and you open it up, this is used as a sponge. So you can use this to get some lather you know and wash your body and all this other stuff I'm guessing I would take it off or whatever to get the foam you know and wash your body and things like that I don't think I don't know if you take it off but I think I would keep it on the top like this and just put it on like that whatever it is so I think that is just about it guys so let me share with you guys how much I saved I saved one hundred and thirty four dollars and thirteen cents you guys if you get to see this I saved one hundred and thirty four dollars and thirteen cents that's what I saved I actually spent a hundred almost a hundred dollars I spent like ninety six dollars the first time I went and then I went back and spent like maybe a little more maybe another twenty dollars twenty five dollars right but all in all I saved over 130 maybe 140 bucks which I think that is excellent which means I got damn near three hundred dollars worth of stuff for about a hundred dollars I'm just saying I'm just saying but if you made it all the way to the end of this video you will see that I also purchased the bourbon strawberry vanilla lotion the bourbon strawberry vanilla shower gel and I also have another Georgia peach sweet tea these three items are for a very 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 special subscriber because it's a giveaway yay I haven't done a giveaway in so long so long. I am so happy to say I am doing a giveaway. So, how do you enter the giveaway? I'm glad you asked. First thing you do is you have to be a subscriber of mine here on YouTube. That's what you have to be, a subscriber. That's number one. Then, you have to put in, in the comments down below, you put your first name and you put enter me. Just like that. Then, if you want an extra entry and you follow me on Instagram, you can go under the picture with these three items and put your name, the same name that you put on my YouTube, and enter me. That is how you get an extra entry. I will be selecting these by random. This giveaway will last for one week so today is Monday a week from today today is what January 2nd today is January 2nd 2017 this giveaway will last for one week one week so at midnight midnight Eastern time on January 9th this giveaway will be over so like I said the but matter of fact I ain't even gonna trip the, the rules gonna be in the description box in the description box below the rules gonna be down there you don't follow the rules you can't win so this is what we gonna do subscribe to me on YouTube 
follow your girl on Instagram and try to get these goodies. All right, guys? That's it. This is it. These are the three things. That's it, guys. I am so happy to be back doing videos on YouTube. Your girl has missed you guys. I really miss doing YouTube videos. I'm feeling so much better. Thank you for all the well wishes. Thank you for all the happy birthdays on Instagram. Thank you for all of just the love, the healing love. Oh, and special shout out to uh, Minnie Pam, Minnie Pam, and K Unity, Khadija, thank you so much, guys. You guys sent me some great gifts, some great goodies, and I really do appreciate those goodies you guys sent me. So, special shout out to you two ladies. And with that being said, guys, I am going to holler at you guys in my next video. All right? Peace.